Welcome back. On today's Net Check, we focus on what Chinese officials informally call sexual bribes. Now, no Chinese law contains it, but Chinese media frequently use it. It means to provide sexual services to officials in exchange for favors. And the trial of a former Chinese railway minister has reignited talk on Chinese media. This topic has been raised again recently in Chinese media due to the trial of Liu Zhen. The former Chinese railway minister, Chinese state media, reported that Liu allegedly took advantage of his position and helped 11 people to either get promotions or win contracts. In exchange, he received over 10 million U.S. dollars in bribes between 1986 and 2011. The reports added he allegedly embezzled over $130 million and owned hundreds of houses. He's under trial for accepting bribes and abuse of power. But the media and public wonder why there's no mention of his sexual bribes. Now, back in 2012, the Ministry of Railways said Liu was charged with six disciplinary violations. This includes graft and sexual misconduct. The sexual misconduct charges against Liu involve his alleged relationships with several women. Lawyers say that's because there's no such crime as sexual bribes in China. And this has raised heated discussions online on adding it as a crime. Now, to hear what's being said, let's join our researcher, Julia Liu, in the newsroom. Julia, thanks a lot uh, for joining us, first of all. How do net users feel about the absence of a sexual bribes charge in Liu's case? Well, based on the comments I've seen, uh, almost all the net users feel quite angry at the court's announcements. And uh, lots of the comments sound quite sarcastic, like uh, this poster from Wenzhou, who says on QQ.com. Oh, when we order people visit prostitutes, uh, we spend our own money. And if we are caught, we'll face fines and other punishment, because uh, soliciting prostitutes is illegal. But Liu spent so much other people's money and had sex with uh, so many women. The court simply says that there is no related concept of uh, sexual bribes in our law. And uh, this was the Bu Qu De Ming from Guangdong can't agree more. Well, is there any real difference between sexual bribes and uh, visiting prostitutes? Well, they are both a sex money transaction, aren't they? So why the latter is illegal, but the former simply has no mention in the law? Whom is our law trying to protect? Well, this poster at Tie Gu Zheng Zheng de Mei Li Ren Sheng on Weibo.com makes a comparison, uh, mentioning the recent amendments in China's elderly rights protection law, saying, Well, our law is nothing but nonsense. They put visiting parents into the law, but not the sexual bribes. How ridiculous. Now, many netizens seem to support the idea of making sexual bribes a crime in China, isn't it? Oh, yes. The majority of net users I've uh, come across I have uh, this idea. And uh, first, have a listen to this take on CYOL.com. Well, in current Chinese official, the sex power transaction has become as rampant as money power transaction. But our law only details the punishment over the latter, while nothing is mentioned about the former. And this has made sexual bribes become more and more rampant. And of course, people doubt the justice of the law. And uh, also, this poster on iPhone.com has uh, this to say. In 1996, when we amended the criminal law, there was debate over whether sexual bribes should be included into it. Now, 17 years has passed, and uh, we've heard so many cases of official sexual scandals. And the public has uh, long been calling for introducing the crime of uh, sexual crimes. But up until now, our criminal laws have been amended eight times. This is uh, still beyond the law. Finally, Julia, despite the huge clamor to make sexual bribes a crime, why the apparent lack of enthusiasm among lawmakers? Well, as for the reasons, posters also have a lot to say. And uh, the popular web portal 163.com publishes a feature on this topic, and uh, part of it uh, reads, to define sexual bribes as a crime actually has uh, three difficulties during the judicial process. First, it's difficult to identify it. It's hard to determine that sex behaviors are out of love or simply a deal to achieve something. And second, it's hard to collect evidence. For example, uh, when you take huge amounts of money, it's easier to collect evidence to determine how much money you've embezzled. But for sex behaviors on lots of occasions, the only evidence is just oral testimony from people involved. And third, it's hard to set the measurement of the pet penalty. Well, to make it simple, it's easy to determine the sentence based on how much money you've illegal taken. But how about the sex behaviors? It's hard to measure. And finally, this poster on China.com.cn has this to say. 
The root cause is the definition of bribe in Chinese criminal law. Our law makes it clear that a bribe only refers to the physical properties official take. Therefore, intangible things like sexual services aren't considered as bribe, never mind a crime of a sexual bribe. Well, this definition of bribe certainly has a lot of loopholes. For example, besides taking money as gift, officials can receive other gifts, uh, as sending their keys abroad or job recommendation to their family members. All right, thanks a lot, Julia. That was our researcher, Julia Liu, with reaction from Chinese netizens on making sexual bribes a crime. After the break, some of the hottest trending phrases on China's most popular search engines.